Sean Hayes here with Sean America Audio and Visual. This is the first lesson in a series of lessons I'm going to put together all about how to do pinhole photography. Pinhole photography is something I've become very passionate about and is something that if you're interested in or would like to just learn more about it, I really hope these lessons are going to be just for you. Well, let's talk a little bit about what pinhole photography is. In a nutshell, pinhole photography is basically a light proof box with film at one end and a tiny pinhole at the other and the pinhole is so small it focuses the light onto the film and that's the camera right there today I'm going to show you how to take your simple SLR camera or digital SLR camera and turn it into a pinhole this is a very easy project to do it's fun to do and it doesn't take much time to do either so for today's project all we need is your favorite SLR camera or digital SLR. Today I've got my trusty Minolta X700. The body cap for it and some brass shim stock. Brass shim stock is usually available at most hardware stores. If you can't find it there, hop online and search for brass shim stock. You'll be able to find plenty of places that carry it there. Okay, here we are in the workshop. For this part of the process, all you're going to need is just your brass shim stock and the body cap cover for your camera. Go ahead and leave your camera aside, we won't need that yet. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and drill a hole in your body cap just large enough so that we can place the pinhole in. Probably about a quarter of an inch. Okay, go ahead and take your drill with a quarter inch drill bit and drill a hole as close to the center of your body cap as you can. When you're done, go ahead and just make sure it's good and cleaned up. Get any uh, loose plastic off of there. Now that you've drilled a hole in your body cap, go ahead and take a piece of your brass shim stock. This here came in a pack with multiple different thicknesses. I'd use the 5,000th thick just because it's going to be a little easier to work with if you've never built a pinhole before. Okay, now that you have the hole in your body cap, take your shim stock and cut out a square about this large. It's about an inch by an inch. It doesn't have to be exact. And get yourself some very fine wet dry sandpaper. This is 800 grit. Put a little water on your material and sand it Okay, now that you have your piece of material all sanded, go ahead and get yourself an ordinary sewing needle. While taking the needle and going like this, press the needle through the center of the piece you just cut and make yourself a very small hole. It's kind of difficult to see, but there it is. Now you'll notice that the back side is raised. You can feel that. Get your sandpaper again and sand that little tiny bump off. Take your time with this part because this really makes makes a difference. And I like to sand both sides again just to make sure that that pinhole is exactly how I want it. Okay, now that you've done that, go and get yourself a piece of ordinary black tape. This is a piece of black duct tape. You can get this anywhere. And go ahead and cut it down to a size small enough to do what you need. And then fold it over so the sticky side is out. And cut yourself a little triangle right in it. Pull that piece out. Now that you've got your tape cut with a hole in it, take your pinhole and stick it so that the pinhole that you made is right in the center of that V. Okay, so now that you've got that whole unit like this, I've trimmed mine a little so that it'll fit better into my body cap. Take your body cap and just center it up in there like so.
Okay. Get it all in there, just like this. Now you're going to have your body cap looking just like that. Let's go ahead and stick it in our camera and see how it works. So now that you've got your whole body cap pinhole made, go ahead and take your trusty camera, pull the lens off, set that aside, and just simply fit this right in there where it goes. Now, you're all set. Now if your camera's light meter will meter down to those low light levels that you're going to have, you're all set. You don't have to do anything. Go out and take pictures. If not, you just have to guess. Go outside, have some fun with it. You know, go outside, try 10, 15, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, maybe even a minute. Just play with it a little and you'll get some fun results. Sean Hayes here signing off. Go out and have some fun with pinhole photography and we hope to see you next time. Next time we'll talk a little bit more about how to control your pinhole photography. Thanks.